Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you my finished Wally build. But first of all, roll those credits. Okay, welcome back. So, um, as you can see, Wally is now fully painted. Um, he's got a lot of weathering on him, uh, trying to make him look really dusty and rusty and scratched up and stuff. Um, so uh, we'll do a quick 360 of the, uh, of the build and you can have a look at how he came out. So let's just... Okay, so first off, we've got all of the front panel there. Holding his, uh, holding his boot thing. Uh, we've got his little roach frame down there. We've got his head, so that all came out really nicely. Uh, those are actually glass lenses that I stole from Arif at 3D Filer Print. Um, uh, they were originally for his SLA build and now they've ended up stuck to the front of my model. Um, we've got the tank tracks down here, so these are all weathered as well they are all articulated i think technically speaking this would move um i just probably haven't tried <laughs> um the arms all still move and everything so they still are, are all poseable and stuff um so i did all of that then we've got go around the back and we've got everything in the back there as well that's meant to look sort of all rusty and oxidized and everything so there we go so he's all nice there so um so quick rundown of um paint techniques so um the first is is just layering so um so put down the base uh yellow first that meant that he had to be primed in white because yellow, as you've probably seen from some of my other videos, my absolute nemesis when it comes to painting yellow. I really don't like it. It never comes out the way I want it to. It's always incredibly frustrating. Um, but, uh, but it came out quite nicely on this one in the end. I think it helped because he's meant to be dirty. Um, he's meant to, you know, he's meant to have like rust and dicks and dings and stuff like that. So, um, so yeah, so, so that all came out really, really nice. Um, started out with the yellow, went over with, uh, with like a gunmetal silver and all of these silver parts, um, and then just layered and layered and layered. When it came to doing the rust spots, that was um, a dark brown around the outside, a black in the middle, and then I got a square sponge and I dabbed a light brown around the edges to give almost like a feathering look and then a light coating with an airbrush over the top just to smooth out any harsh lines or harsh geometries to try and give it a bit more sort of an organic-y kind of feel. Um, same happened on the tank tracks as well. So the tank tracks got sort of a light dusting with a light and then over again with the, uh, with the darker um, from there and the same on the top. So it started out in a silver, uh, gave that a light dust, picked out some of the low lights with a black, uh, light dusting of brown to try and give that sort of a rusty kind of feel um, and went from there. So his little door should still open, I think. So his little door still opens and everything. And I'm really happy with him. He came out really nice. Um, I, I really liked the paint job. I really sort of quite enjoyed the paint job. Um, yeah, it's it's been a it's it's been a been been a good been a good one to do. So this was actually scaled up to two hundred percent scale from um, from the GAN body files that it originally came with. Um, two or three people have already asked me, can, can it can it move? Well, yes, it's 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 poseable and you know everything everything does move and the hands are all articulated and the wrists and the head moves and everything. Um, whether or not it could be remote controlled. I'd say the answer is probably no. And the reason being is that they spent so much time, sort of attention to detail in the various parts of the model, um, they really haven't left any space for you to put electronics in it. 
So if it is able to be remote controlled, I think you'd really have to do a, a fair amount of, of work um, with, um, with, you know, with the model to begin with to, to make the space. But that's Wally. So we've got a lot coming up, guys, in the next uh, in the next sort of couple of weeks. So we've got um, we've got a Prusa Mini in the shop that I'm currently printing the parts for for on the longer. Um, so that's going to be uh, that's going to be reviewed fairly soon. That's also a clone, same as our Prusa Mark III that we got again from Feistech. Um, we've got um, Mike is doing uh, started doing uh, the war rig from Gambody, but he's doing it large, as you would expect. Uh, we've got a arc reactor that we're doing at the moment that's gonna light up and, and, and look kinda cool. Um, we've got a Mandalorian rifle that we're doing at the moment. That's gonna be a really interesting one. Um, that actually prints all as one build plate, um, and then you just assemble it. Uh, I don't know if I've actually got the assembly instructions, so it could still be very interesting to do. But uh, but yeah, we've got that coming. Uh, I'm doing a pirate ship. There's going to be quite a large pirate ship that I'm doing. Uh, that'll be a really interesting one. So anyway, so like the channel, subscribe, and uh, and see you all soon.